Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how these devices can help you save time, money, and help you upgrade your analog camera system to an IP camera system without going through the trouble of replacing thousands and thousands of feet of coaxial line that you already have at your installation. Let's get started. First, let's talk about analog camera systems. What are they? These systems use RG59 cables, commonly called coax cables, or sometimes Siamese cables. And these coaxial lines are used to transmit the video signals for common security cameras. This technology has been around for ages. And so we also call this an analog system because this is not a digital signal. This is analog, this is hardwired from camera to recorder. There have been a lot of advancements in analog camera systems, but the latest features, technology, and highest quality come from IP camera systems over ethernet. So why upgrade from analog cameras to IP cameras? IP cameras or internet protocol cameras offer features like remote access, onboard storage, facial tracking, license plate tracking, and more. And traditionally, they use Ethernet cables for power and data. For analog camera systems, this is where the term Siamese cable comes from. Because if you take a look at common cables, there is one line for the data and video signal transmission and another line for power. So there are two separate lines that are manufactured together. And so this is where Ethernet over coax comes in, or EOC for short. EOC technology allows us to send a digital signal over that coaxial line that's originally designed for an analog signal. So these two devices encode and decode the digital signal over that coaxial line. This advancement in the technology is incredible because again, it can save you thousands of dollars on installation of new lines, the effort and time it takes to maybe dig the lines out of a very difficult location and many more features. Now let's show how these devices connect together. So you'll need a transmitter and a receiver for each IP camera. So you'll need your IP camera, an ethernet cable, the transmitter, receiver, another ethernet, and your new network video recorder or NVR. From there, you connect your IP camera to an ethernet cable. The ethernet then plugs into the transmitter via the ethernet PoE port or power over ethernet port. On that same side of the transmitter, you'll also see the RJ59 connection. This is your coaxial line port. So you simply connect those together. On the other side of that coaxial line, take your receiver and connect it to the other side of the coaxial line. From there, take your ethernet cable, plug that into the receiver's PoE port, and then plug the other end into your network video recorder. If you do have an installation with multiple cameras, you can use an ethernet over coax switch. You will still need a transmitter for each IP camera, but the receiver can be replaced by an ethernet over coax switch. Your network video recorder or PoE switch will then transmit data and power over the coaxial line to your IP camera. Upgrading in this way doesn't simply just save you time and money, but it also extends the life of your existing infrastructure. These systems currently support 4K resolutions and are 8K ready for future IP cameras, making them a very solid investment. By future-proofing your surveillance system, you'll be ready for future advancements in camera technology without the need for a major overhaul. A couple drawbacks to this system could be the 100 megabit per second throughput of these connectors. 100 megabits per second is a lot and 4K cameras currently only require about 8 to 10 megabits per second, but future cameras may require much more data throughput and so the limitation of 100 megabits may be a hurdle to overcome in the future. Another limitation is the 25 watts of power allowed through this system, and that also decreases over long distances. So if you have a high powered camera or PTZ that requires 30, 45, 60 watts of power to operate, you may still need to find a solution to power it on site. And there you have it. Upgrading to an IP camera system while using your existing coaxial cable is a smart and cost-effective way to upgrade your surveillance system. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to find out about our next video. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.